your favorite YouTube channel of mathematics. Well, today we're talking about one property of relation, which is called anti-symmetric word relation. If you have not watched the video on symmetric relation, please do so. If you have not watched the video on reflexive relation, please do so. In this video, we are going to be introducing ourselves to what anti-symmetric means. First of all, what is um, what is relation itself? Well, relation is the subset of cross product. Note that relation is a subset of what cross product. Now, let's say we pick A to B. One, two, three. Wow, you can see I changed my pen today. Wow, nice. Now we want to find um, the subset that we have. Let's find the cross product. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, one, two, one, three, one. One, two, 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 three, two, one, three. Two, three, three, three. These are the um, cross product that we have for this particular set. And I told you that relation is a subset of what cross product. Now let's write all our factors out. Or well, let me say all our peers. One, 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 two, one, three, two, one, two, two. two. Two three three one three two three three. Now don't forget that we want to talk about anti-symmetry. Don't forget that anti-symmetry. Now let's pick some. So now let's pick some example or some part of this relation. Now this cross product. To make our relation so that we can see what anti symmetric entails. Let's pick R1 to be 1, 1, 1, 2, and 2, 2. R2 to be 2, 3, 1, 3, 3, 2. R3 1 3 1 1 2 2 R4 3 1 3 2 1 3 Let us use this now, we want to pick anti-symmetry. Now, the question is, what is anti-symmetry itself? Now, let's define anti-symmetry. Now, the definition of anti-symmetry in a formal way is very simple. Given that, given a relation R on set A. We say R is anti symmetry. R is anti symmetry where A is not equal to B such that for all A comma B. An element of set A A comma B is an element of R and B comma A is not an element of R given a set R given a relation R on set A 
we say r is anti-symmetry where a is not equal to b such that for all a b that is an element of a a comma b is a member of r and b comma a is not a member of r that is the definition of anti-symmetry now in this definition you will notice that we don't have interest where a is equal to b we don't have interest in this we are only interested in where a is not equal to what b that means if a comma b is a member of that relation when you flip it b comma a must not be a member of what the relation let's go into the example one one we don't have interest in where a is equal to b so i don't have anything to do with this one i'll just leave it i have this one two when you flip it you have two one is two one here is two one here no it is not here now we don't have interest in two two again because we only have interest in where a is not equal to what b so you can see that when you flip one two you have a two one and it is not part of your what your relation then r1 is what anti-symmetry now r2 two three when you flip it you have three two is three two here yes three two is here then this is not what not anti symmetry check the r3 when you flip it you have three one is three one here no it is not here okay we can still go for that one one we don't have interest in this two two we don't have interest in this we only have interest what one three when you flip it you have three one and it's not here then this is what anti symmetry now i want you to try the last one and give me answer in the comment uh section thank you for watching this particular video i really appreciate you for subscribing to my channel please tell your friends your junior brother your senior brother your family even your dad and mom can subscribe yeah thank you so much i really appreciate it. one love